Shalom, 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 Israel giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Chakadash, the Moanis, the Apostles, the Elder, GMS, Rubu, Wiles, 18, Shin, Akim, out there pushing the burn troops in the city, risking your freedom, your life to do so, more so now than ever before, um, because we're getting very close to the end, the end time, you know, the beginning of the end of Esau's world, and the beginning of the world that follows, uh, the world of Jacob. 12 tribes now hopefully i don't get flagged for this video because this is this is on abc you know youtube is very pc political politically correct now so certain things that's that's shown can be flagged or whatever you know so hopefully this video only get flagged because you can see the actual gun but this is from instagram you know, a little clip, you know, it says gunman shoots at random SoCal, which is uh, Southern California drivers killing father of four deputies say. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because this is this is outlined in prophecy about, you know, the days of evil, the days of evil. So let's get a scripture real quick before we play this video. Mind you, uh, there's no sound. So just bear with me with the video. This is Matt. This is the words of Yahweh Shah's mouth, our uh, Savior. It says, uh, Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Now, what is iniquity? Iniquity is sin upon sin or the breaking of the Heavenly Father's commandments. You know, the Heavenly, Fa Heavenly Father's commandments is the first five books of Moses. All right? And it's, it's clear and evident that America, and not just America, but the whole entire world. But the reason why it's primary, the reason why we focus on America so much, because America has these inaugurations, and they swear on the Bible, and they say that you know, by by the power of God, we're gonna follow this book. We're gonna uphold the law of this book. They hold it up. They swear in, which is against the scriptures. They swear in, which is inaugurate on the, but their hand on the Bible saying that we're going to do the things that the Bible commands us to do. And they do the complete opposite. Everything they do the complete opposite. It, it's life for life. So if you murder somebody, you're to get killed. Uh, the adultery is not punishable by death. Uh, they commit homosexual, homosexuality, which is punishable by death, whether it be man on man or woman on woman. Again, with YouTube, forgive me, because this... You can get flagged for saying the righteousness in the Bible. It's a crazy world we live in to where all good things are demonized and and all bad things is upheld and glorified. You know, this is the wickedness of the world that we currently reside in. And it's the reason why, again, Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity should abound, meaning abound, meaning be uh, there. Let's, let's look at the definition. I don't want to wing it. Exist in large numbers or amounts, all right? So, iniquity is, is so abundant, existing in large numbers, and is not being penalized because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. What does it mean, wax cold? Let's get, uh, lack it up. This is the, uh, it doesn't mean literally be low temperature. It literally is the second one right here. Lacking affection or warmth or feeling, all right? Not affected by emotion. All right? And if, uh, depressing or dispiriting. Meaning, you know, when uh, things like this occur, people people don't care. They got it. When they say your heart is cold, meaning, meaning, you know, we, we, we symbolic uh, the lower temperature as like ice. And what do we know as ice? Ice is very, uh, not only is it low temperature, but it's very hard. Very hard. So when you when you say your heart is cold, that mean you know what I'm saying? Like you don't care. You don't you lack empathy. And and the reason why I'm saying this is the reason why I'm bring out the scriptures because we seeing events like this. This guy obviously it, his heart is cold, man. He don't care. He's shooting at random people. And because whatever he's went through in his life. And this is going to be a reality of more and more people. The further, you know, further we, we go along in these times, it's only going to get worse. More and more people 
heart is going to go cold. They're going to lack affection and, and empathy for, for people, their fellow men in these coming days. Now, look at this. There's no sound, unfortunately. Let me see. Yeah, there's no sound. Look, shooting at look, look, shooting at random people. And I guess he killed somebody. Look, empty the clip. Empty the clip and reloaded it. Look. This is not a sane person. Well, he might have been sane at one point and figured, you know, F life. I'm going to go out killing innocent people, just shooting at random people. God's deluded, man. God's deluded. Verse 13. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So whoever endures these times will see the salvation of Mashiach Yahusha. All right? In a, in a, um, in a, in a land of um, uh, the kingdom of heaven. You see what I'm saying? Jeremiah 30, verse 6. Actually, now and see whether a man doth travail with a child. Now, now, does it mean that men go through uh, pregnancy stages, contraction pains? No, it means uh, times is getting so bad that it's gonna look like men are having contractions. It's gonna look like men are are having that level of pain. As if they're holding their stomach. Now, if you know anything about what's going on around the world, like uh, BRICS, the BRICS nations, they're joining forces. Not only the BRICS, but nations that want to join the BRICS to de-dollarize America's uh, hegemony. Destroy the U.S. dollar. These nations are lining up and teaming up to, to, to dump the American dollar. And and that's gonna have a global global market catastrophe or effect. I don't care how much you gold you stack, how much silver you stack, it's gonna affect a global the global market to where all is gonna be inflation and hyperinflation across the world. It's gonna cause pain like no other. Whether you saved up a lot of money down the drain. Fool, scarce, you can't afford it. These are the times that we're coming into, man, and a lot of people are sleeping. But you have to be more aware than that. It says, Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces turn into paleness, meaning they, 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 they sick, they scared, they're terrified. This is what Jeremiah is asking. It said, At last, and I believe at last means um, grief, pity, or concern. Like, whoa, like a whoa, oh my God. For that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. Is it, specific, is it specifically talking about a 24-hour period? Uh, 12 hours day and night? No, it's talking about a time period, which we're in right now. The, the 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 leading up to World War Three, the 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 the, uh, the gathering of the troops in Jehoshaphat, um, the dumping of the dollar, the fall of one of the greatest empires, the last empire that was set in the Bible to rule the world. This is the days of D Jacob's trouble, and the reason why it's calling Jacob is because Scripture is only concerned about Jacob. The scriptures only speak about the 12 tribes of Israel. The only concern that the Heavenly Father has is for his people, the children of Israel. So when you say Jacob's trouble is because not, not only everybody in the world is going to be affected, 
But Jacob is going to be punished and affected by these times too. But it said, but he should be saved out of it. Now, is he talking about the whole nation of Israel? All right. When they say Jacob is not speaking about one man, it's talking about the 12 tribes. He's speaking about just the 12 tribes being delivered. A portion will be delivered, which is the elect of Israel should be delivered out of these times. For it said, for it shall come to pass, say of the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and I will burst thy, thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve himself, uh, themselves to him. I Meaning we're going to become free at last. Not the emancipation proclamation to where, you know, Abraham Lincoln just transferred ownership from slavery in the South to industrial slavery, all right, which is the factory work. And it went from cattle to corporations all right now you're indentured servitude meaning now they no longer pay for your food and clothing but now you, you're a slave to a corporation you don't have any real assets you don't have any real wealth because Esau controls that and it be damned Esau be damned to let uh, Judah Benjamin Levi you know the, the Negroes Latin Native Americans get any leg up in his society so the Lord is going to break the yoke off, off our necks. So, you know, with that, you know what I'm saying, the, the world is getting more cold, man. You got to be colder. Respect for the worst. So with that, one give more praise to you. How about you, Shah? It's the next video. Show me.